Dear photography friend, hi, I'm Michael Sazel. I'm in Beijing and uh, we're here in uh, our apartment hotel and we will use this apartment to shoot uh, some cool bodyscapes. For that with me, I've got my friend Sasha and Lin Shi and um, I will show you exactly how we are going to shoot this cool bodyscape with very, very little effort and very little equipment. So keep on watching. Here you see one reason why I really prefer these apartment hotels over regular hotels. They come with um, this lovely little uh, built-in kitchen. Now, it's not that I'm good on cooking, but um, I really like it. And look what we can find over here. Huh? Kitchen paper. Simple white, a little bit transparent kitchen paper. And this can act as a cool diffuser for our flashlight, for our speed lights. So if we, if we find something to attach this uh, kitchen paper, then we can simulate a strip light with it. And this is what I'm going to do right now. I found this little um, TV rack, which uh, will act as a, as a horizontal strip light. And um, I'll use my kitchen paper as a diffuser. It's again powered by two speed lights, so uh, we'll place one over here, one over there, and in front of it, I will now tape actually the uh, the kitchen paper. Hope this is going to work. I had no rehearsal, and. Um, while you patiently watch me taping the, uh, the kitchen paper to the uh, TV rack, I can probably answer the question, is there a reason for the uh, speed lights to be gailed with orange gale in front of it? And actually, no, there is no real reason. It's just because all day I'm shooting over here in, um, in this mixed light tungsten and flashlight environment, and uh, sometimes I'm shooting mixed light, sometimes, like right now, I'm shooting just flashlight. And I know myself, I know I will forget to uh, attach gears, I will forget to change the white balance from tungsten to flashlight one or the other time. So I stay with one setting. I say for the whole day, the flashes are geared. For the whole day, the white balance is set to tungsten. That's it. Nothing more. For this particular scene, I will uh, set up the speed lights manually. I will start with one fourth of a power for each of them. And um, again, I will use the on camera flash to trigger the speed lights. And um, I will probably leave the on camera flash on at 30 seconds of power just to fill in the uh, the really dark shades, nothing more. I'll do one more thing to this setup because I will shoot bodyscapes over here in front of this strip light. And in bodyscapes, you sometimes see the far away background, and I want that to be black. Another thing I want is I want to have something for the models to lay on. So I will put this reflector material, black side of it right over here. Now over there inside it will be very black anyway but over here some light might hit the ground and the wooden floor is nice but I prefer it black, really black. This material will do the job it will care for making it really black. There you have it. Then um, let's give it a quick try with the camera. a good strip light. So we're going to try it out.
this was working just beautifully. I really, um, I really like the photos that we made, and uh, of course I was a bit lucky to find uh, such an ideal piece of furniture to act as a strip light. But hey, what's 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 the life without luck? So I hope um, you are lucky as well when you look around what you can use, and I hope you find it a little bit inspiring. Uh, if you find it inspiring, please give me feedback. I'm loving that. In any case, I wish you a lot of fun with your shoots and uh, good light. See you soon.